Okay, uh, next is Mike Simmons. He says, hey guys, if you get to this, what do you think of Paul Clifford's Kudani curation tool? Um, it's okay, Mike. Um, I purchased just about every curation tool out there for my VAs because, you know, my VAs all curate for, uh, you know, clients and everything for me. Um, and to be honest with you, they now when I train new VAs, I just train them to do it manually. Uh, I know Adam can speak on this as well, but personally, all my VAs, like, it, it they just they just curate on each WordPress blog manually. Um, they use Feedly to keep track of all the RS all the content sources, and then they just log directly into the client sites or my PBNs or whatever, and then just post curate manually within the uh, WordPress editor. That's just how my VAs do it. I've I've got Qdani as well. Uh, it's just something that you know there's it's it it's not a bad tool, and if you want to use a tool, it's it's probably one of the good ones. I know Adam's probably got something to say too though. Yeah, I, I think it depends on your use case. If you're doing something where you're really like kind of running a publishing house, like let's say you're doing a lot of curation for a bunch of different clients, then that may be the way to do it. I prefer Curation Suite. I don't have anything against Kudani, but um, I thought that the interface was a little funky. Um, so for me, I just, you know, I'm not running hundreds of sites or anything like that, so I'm able to use something like Curation Suite, which is just a plug-in, and then... I appreciate the way it finds information better, but um, mm. if you've got Curation Mastery, you can see kind of a quick review of all of those, and I'm not sure if you do or not. If you're part of the mastermind, you have access. If not, if you bought it, you can see it. But we go through Kudani, Curation Suite, Manual Curation, and a couple others, I think. Yeah. Um, so you can kind of see what they look like and kind of some use cases. Yeah, I think we, we mentioned briefly some of them on the podcast, I don't know, I don't remember if it was this week or last week podcast, but I think, yeah, that, that was the case. I was using it manually, um, also because I do not have a ton of content to curate, so I prefer the manual route, but yeah, I think we mentioned the same tools. But uh, yeah, Mike, I think you got the right idea, you know, there's a 30 day money back, you know what, the only way you're going to find out is by using it, so grab it, give it a shot, and uh, let other people know. We're, I'm curious. I honestly don't know anyone who uses Kudani a lot. Um, I know I think Bradley used to, but, um, you know, not to say it's a bad tool. So if I was you, I'd grab it. You know, it'll, it's pretty easy to figure out, and uh, I think a couple hours with it, and you'll know whether it's what you need or not. Yeah. Yeah, like I said, it just ended up because we got, you know, I've got so many different VAs that it just, it worked out to where it's just better for me to just train them to do it manually. Um, and they just run everything through Feedly as their content reader, and then they just find uh, stuff to curate, and they just curate manually within WordPress. But yeah, I mean, Kudani's okay. We, I, I, you know, I've got a, a license for it, and I had trained some VAs on it. But um, now, just going forward, I just used um, just manual. There's nothing wrong with it though. Pick it up and try it if you'd like. It, it you know, it could make you more efficient. Um, I, I prefer the manual route though. Personally. Yeah, I was gonna say while we haven't given it a glowing review, there's certainly nothing. Um, that I, as far as I can say that we would you know say do not use it. Yeah, I highly right. suggest checking it out. It may be what you need. It just for us hasn't been the tool. 